Hello and welcome to eCraft. In this video, we will discuss wirelessly communicating between controllers using the popular Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol. We have previously uploaded a couple of videos showcasing Bluetooth communication between microcontroller boards and mobile phones running the Bluetooth Serial app. Additionally, we have also posted videos demonstrating simple board-to-board -board communication using the Bluetooth Classic Protocol. In this video, we will introduce an advanced topic, the Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol, and demonstrate a simple application using a couple of the latest Arduino boards. In this video, we are using the latest Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board, an Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect board, and the joystick shield for Arduino Uno. Both Arduino boards have the ability to communicate using the BLE protocol. In the previous couple of videos posted on this channel, we use the joystick shield. You can find the links to all the reference videos in the description box below the videos. Once you have the necessary hardware, the next step is to install the required software. We will be using the Arduino IDE for this purpose. To work with Bluetooth Low Energy, it is essential to use the Arduino BLE library. In case the library is not already installed, you will need to install it before proceeding further. As of the creation of this video, I have installed version 1.3.6 of this library. If you want to learn more about the classes, methods, and functions of the Arduino BLE library, you can refer to the reference documentation available on the Arduino website shown here. The list of supported boards can be found here. We are using the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board and the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect board in this video. Both of these boards are supported. The quick introduction to BLE is a guide that aims to help beginners understand the fundamentals of Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE. In contrast to standard Bluetooth, which relies on an asynchronous serial connection, URT, a Bluetooth LE radio functions like a community bulletin board, known as a BLE peripheral. The other type of BLE radio connects to the peripheral device and accesses the services provided by it. These are known as central devices. This is similar to the client-server model, where the BLE peripherals act as servers and the BLE central devices as clients. Peripheral devices are servers that provide data from sensors as readable characteristics. They also provide read or write characteristics to control actuators such as motors and lights. Central devices are clients. These radios read and write data from the BLE peripheral radios. Every service in a radio network is identified by a unique number called a UUID, which stands for Universally Unique Identifier. Standard services have a 16-bit UUID while custom services have a longer 128-bit UUID. When a peripheral radio wants to advertise the services it provides, it sends out a message that includes its UUID. A central radio that's interested in a specific service can scan for it by looking for the same UUID. This way, each radio can easily find and connect to the services it needs. At your convenience, please refer to the various BLE classes, methods, and functions. We will use some of these in the example sketches shortly. Once we had all of the hardware ready, we needed to ensure that the Bluetooth function on the boards was enabled. To do this, we quickly checked by uploading a sketch called Scan. This program scans for Bluetooth low energy peripherals and prints out their advertising details. If the program doesn't work correctly, it's possible that the BLE function is disabled. In that case, it can be resolved by updating the firmware of the board using the firmware updater from the tools menu. I uploaded the sketch scan to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and will show the response when everything is working properly. The sketch named scan.eno has been uploaded to the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board, which now operates as a BLE central radio. When scanning for other BLE devices, the board will display a list of any BLE peripherals it detects, along with their address, UUIDs of any services they are advertising, and the RSSI values. This information can be viewed on the serial monitor. Note that Arduino Uno R4 also discovers the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect, which is loaded with a BLE peripheral sketch called LED.eno, 
we will see in a while. It also shows the LED service UUID. Today, we'll upload the LED.ENO sketch to Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect board. It'll act as a BLE peripheral radio with a service to control the onboard LED. We'll use Arduino Uno, our 4 Wi-Fi board, as a BLE central radio, uploading the LED control sketch and getting input from a joystick shield button to control the LED on the Nano RP2040 board. The LED example sketch allows you to create a Bluetooth low-energy peripheral. The sketch includes a service that contains a characteristic which can be used to control an LED. You can find the sketch among the example sketches that come with the Arduino BLE library installation. First and foremost, the Arduino BLE library is called in the sketch. In the LED sketch, the BLE LED service is created with a custom 128-bit UUID. A Bluetooth low-energy LED switch characteristic is created, which allows the BLE central radios to read and write the LEDs on or OFF state. Please note that the built-in LED is used in the BLE service. In the loop function, the peripheral radio listens for Bluetooth low-energy central radios to connect. If a central radio is connected to the peripheral, the program running in the peripheral prints the central's MAC address on the serial port, along with a message indicating the connection to a BLE central device. While the central is still connected to the peripheral, the sketch uses the value written by the BLE central device to control the LED. Let us now upload this sketch to the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect board. Once the sketch is uploaded, a message will be printed on the serial console indicating if a central device is connected to the Arduino. Since I have already programmed the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi with the LED control sketch, it will display a message confirming its connection with the BLE central. Let's now examine the LED control sketch that operates on the BLE central radio. In the video, we utilized an Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi as the BLE central radio, but it's worth noting that a mobile app that can act as a BLE central is also a viable alternative. In this video, we tested two different Arduino hardware devices could connect to each other over BLE. The LED control program scans for a specific UUID that is assigned by the LED service of the peripheral. In the loop function, the program searches for a peripheral and displays its address, local name, and advertised service. If the desired peripheral radio is found, the program discovers its attributes and retrieves the LED characteristic. The program then checks if the peripheral has LED characteristics and if they are writable. If they are, the program checks the status of the push button. If there is a change in the push button status, the corresponding value is written to the LED characteristics to turn it on or off as commanded. Let's upload the code to the Arduino Uno, our 4 Wi-Fi board and test if pressing the button changes the LED on the connected Arduino Nano RP2040. Once the uploading is completed, you may notice that the button appears to be already pressed. This happens because the button inputs on the joystick shield are of the active low type, which means that when the button is not pressed, the input is read as high, and when it is pressed, the input is read low. So, when you press the button, the LED will turn off. Let's test if the programs are working as expected.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support our channel. See you in the next video.